हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू अमूल्यास एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर डिस्कसिंग ग्राफ ऑपरेशन एंड प्रीवियसली इन दिस सीरीज वी सॉ हाउ टू परफॉर्म इंसर्शन एंड डिलीशन ऑपरेशन ऑन ग्राफ नेक्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ग्राफ ट्रैवल्सल ऑपरेशन ग्राफ ट्रैवल्सिंग मीन्स विजिटिंग एवरी नोड और वर्ट एक्स ऑफ द ग्राफ The process of visiting every node of graph in a order is called as graph traversal operation. And here we will discuss two traversal algorithm DFS and BFS. Both are traversal algorithm but in these algorithms the order in which nodes are visited is different. So let's learn DFS and BFS in detail. First here let's see what is DFS and how to traverse a graph using DFS traversal algorithm. Okay first of all DFS stands for depth first search and in this algorithm we'll begin the traversal operation from the starting node we'll start the traversal operation from the starting node traversing means visiting every node of the graph right and to do that to visit every node of graph we need to start from somewhere right so here we need to start this operation from the starting node now the question is how to choose the starting node or i can say from where to start the traversal operation in graphs every nodes are equal right if i want to traverse a tree tree is also a special type of graph right in tree we have a special node called root node so we need to begin the traversal operation from the root node but here in graph we don't have any special node all the nodes are equal then how to choose the starting node or from where to start the traversal operation So answer for this question is you can choose any node as the starting node for this traversal operation. You can start the traversal operation from any node of the graph. So here we have a graph. I'll choose this as the starting node, okay? I'll start the traversal operation from here. So first step is start the traversal operation from the starting node and visit the starting node. So here we'll visit this. So I'll print this. A is visited. and the next step is we need to visit the adjacent node of the starting node now in graph a node can have many adjacent node a node can have more than one adjacent node here also a is the starting node and a is adjacent to b c and d so there are three adjacent nodes for a so now which one to visit first this is also your choice you can visit any adjacent node you need to visit the unvisited one of the adjacent node of a So here I'll choose B so I'll visit B okay I'll print that now A and B are visited next step is you need to visit the unvisited adjacent node of B okay here B is adjacent to D E and A A is already visited so no need to visit that again so D and E are left so you can visit either D or E you can choose any node so here I'll visit E Next is you need to visit the adjacent node of E unvisited adjacent node of E okay here E is adjacent to B and D B is already visited so I'll visit D now D is also visited now what we need to do i need to visit the adjacent node of D unvisited adjacent node of D so D is adjacent to A B E as well as C and in which A B E is already visited So left is C so I'll visit that node. Now here you can see we visited all the nodes of the graph so now we are done. Okay so this is DFS algorithm. Okay so let's take another example. First we need to start from the starting node and you can choose any node as the starting node. Here I'll choose A as the starting node so I'll visit that first. Next I need to visit the adjacent node of A. A is adjacent to B here so I need to visit that. Now after that I need to visit the adjacent node of B. Here B is adjacent to A and C. A is already visited so I need to visit C. Now next I need to visit the adjacent node of C. D E B are the adjacent node of C. C is adjacent to B D E. B is already visited so we need to visit either D or E. Here I'll visit D. Next visit the adjacent node of D. D is adjacent to C M K C is already visited you can choose between M and K here i'll take K next visit the unvisited adjacent node of K 
Now here you can see k is adjacent to d and d is already visited and k is not adjacent to any other node. Now what to do? In the previous example we didn't face this situation. Here traversal operation is not completed because here we can see unvisited nodes in the graph. And also we don't have any option here to move forward because k doesn't have any unvisited adjacent node. Now what to do? So in this time you can backtrack that is you can take one step back. So now move back here take one step back. So will come here D. D is already visited. I know that. Now what I need to do? I need to check whether D contains any unvisited adjacent node. Yes, here M is not visited, right? So I need to visit that. Okay. Now after M, we don't have any unvisited adjacent node of M because M is adjacent to D that is already visited. So now what to do? You need to take one step back. So we'll come here. And you need to again check whether this node contains any unvisited adjacent node. No, right? All the nodes adjacent nodes are visited. Now what do you need to do? Backtrack. Take one step back. Come here and check whether C contains any unvisited adjacent node. Yes, E is unvisited, right? So visit that. Now again check whether E contains any adjacent node which is unvisited. Yes, F is unvisited here. So visit that. Now check whether F contains any unvisited node. No. And also here we can see all the nodes are visited. So we are done. Okay. So these are the steps of DFS algorithm. So I'll give you a short summary of this DFS algorithm. In the DFS algorithm, we need to start traversal operation from the starting node. Consider the starting node as the current node and print that node. That means visit that node. This is the first step and the second step is visit the one of the unvisited adjacent node of the current node. Make that node as the current node and print that node. Then follow step two until we reach the dead end in that path. After reaching the dead end, if still graph contains unvisited nodes, then we'll backtrack until we find another path that we haven't traversed through or I can say return to the most recent node that has not been completely explored and repeat step two. Last step is if all the nodes are visited, then stop. In DFS algorithm, I need to start from the starting node and I need to visit the adjacent node of the starting node. We need to visit one of the unvisited adjacent node of a current node. That means DFS algorithm sticks with one path. It will follow that path until it ends. After reaching the dead end, it will come back, it will backtrack, it will take one step back. So we'll start from the starting node and until we reach the dead end, we will visit the nodes in that path like this. Here we visited node till k. After reaching the dead end, what we need to do? I need to backtrack. The algorithm tries to go deeper from the adjacent of last visited node. So it will take one step back. This is the last visited node and it will check whether it contains any unvisited path. It will visit the nodes in that path. That's why this algorithm named as depth first. If you see in tree, we need to start from the root node, visit its child node, next visit its child node, next visit its child node. It will choose one path and it will visit all the nodes present in that path. After reaching dead end, it will come back. So in tree, I can say, before visiting sibling, visit child node. Okay, so this is about depth first search algorithm. So that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then take care and be safe.